My name is Laura McMorrow. I'm a visual artist based in Leitrim in Ireland. Uh, I have a multidisciplinary practice that includes painting, collage, video, sculpture and illustration. I work a lot with um, found objects. I spend a lot of time collecting objects from charity shops or secondhand shops and a big part of my practice is collecting objects and images. So I also collect archival images that I find online, whether it's in um, online digital libraries or in books I have like uh, encyclopedias or National Geographic books. And I spend a lot of time looking at images and then I use those images as sources for paintings. But often the the finished paintings don't look anything like the original image that I start from. Um, so sustainability is also a big part of my practice and reusing everything. And <clears throat> I work on quite unusual surfaces. So sometimes I'll paint on cardboard um, or driftwood or <laughs> chopping boards. I've also painted on the back of puzzles. And, and anything I find really that I think makes an interesting surface. I find working on a blank canvas quite um, uninspiring. So I'll often um, start by <clears throat> uh, dismantling or taking apart what I'm working on. And then I'll leave traces of the original um, surface or image and I'll, I'll use that as part of the work. I work across a lot of different disciplines and one of my favorite ones to work with is collage. I find that because collage is such an intuitive process, um, I, it, you know, I make a mess, I cut everything up and lay everything out in front of me and it's a really great way to start a project. So if I'm in the studio and I'm not sure where to start, I'll often turn to collage. Um, so I think the whole process of sort of destroying a book or a tearing a piece of paper, um, I find really satisfying and sort of like a, a way to think through ideas. And when I, I find as well that if the materials are so accessible, like I'd have most materials on my kitchen table, you know, a pair of scissors and a in newspapers so kind of like that I'll have the materials to hand and the other thing that I really love about collage is the element of humor in it so you're sort of combining two elements or two or more elements that shouldn't really go together so it's almost like you're um well in my head I'm imagining it like a film scene where I'm sort of thinking through a scenario or creating a, a narrative in the collage my current work is all based around landscapes. So um, at the moment, I'm inspired a lot by the place where I live, um, getting outside, being around nature, um, collecting rocks or interesting looking sticks and bringing them home with me and uh, filling up my studio with stuff that I collect. Uh, I'm definitely a hoarder. And so yeah, natural, natural materials and um, being outside in all elements, like whether it's raining or snowing. And um, then also something else that I'm inspired by at the moment is reading about landscape and people who write a lot about landscape and how, how they describe it. Um, so people like Robert McFarlane, and Tim Robinson, or Rebecca Solnit, I've been reading a lot of recently. And then art-wise, um, at the moment, I'm looking at Etel Adnan's work. Um, her, I think her work is so beautiful in the way that she simplifies landscape and the colors that she uses and um, just a vibrancy and um, I, I just love her work. I would like to own The Snail by Matisse. <laughs> it's a really large um, collage piece that's made from painted, uh, big painted sheets of paper and that are cut up in angular shapes and sort of arranged in a spiral shape. And I love the scale of this work and um, 
how fun it is and simple and I think it would just make me so happy <laughs> to have it in my house I might need a bigger house but <laughs> yeah I'd, I'd, um, that's the piece I would pick <laughs>